What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Little Sauce Accord, whatever knows best. And today I want to bring you guys a quick random little hype land haul video because I bought some stuff a while back when they first dropped their Dragon Ball collection and I never really showed it off. And uh, it's been a minute. It's, it was, it's been over a year. It's been almost two years. They did a Dragon Ball collaboration a while back. I bought some stuff from it and I just never made the video call it laziness or whatever but i just i just never got around to it so we're gonna do that today because why not uh some of these items most of them are actually still brand new in the plastic because i did never open them up because i was like one day I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that video and i never got around to it but we're getting around to it now and the first piece uh, on the list is actually this t-shirt right here this is the dragon ball kame t-shirt uh in black as you can see here on the front we have kame house hype land written in red and blue and then on the back you've got uh, the OG squad from original Dragon Ball. I don't know about y'all, but my favorite part of the entire Dragon Ball series is actually Dragon Ball, like without the Z when Goku was a kid. That's my favorite part of the series. I think it's also the best part of the series. A lot of y'all haven't seen it and you're missing out. Some of you have seen it, you still like Z or Super or GT. That's cool, whatever. Um, but the OG stuff is my favorite. So when I seen Kid Goku on some of the merch, I was like, yeah, I got, I got to grab that. And uh, this is definitely one of those pieces. I think I did actually wear this shirt once which is one part of the reason why it's open. And then I have one more shirt that is open that I opened because I was gonna wear it. Then I didn't actually end up wearing it. We gonna get to that next. Um, but yeah, real quick, everything's a size extra large. I'm six foot three. I weigh around 200 pounds right now. Um, so yeah, that should give you a little idea of like, you know, the sizing and how things fit and everything like that. Uh, it's kind of funny too, because I think most, if not all of this stuff is sold out. So I mean, I might have stuff on screen for you and I can leave a link to Hype in the description down below. But I know this shirt is sold out. The next one I'm about to show, I don't even think it's listed on their website anymore. Most of this stuff is sold out, and if it's not completely sold out, it's sold out in some sizes. So, again, that's just me being dumb late to making this video. But actually, it's some Trunks stuff that I wanted that sold out before I got the chance to cop it. Y'all know Trunks is my favorite character, and I don't even got none of the Trunks pieces here, except for one that I'll show later. But, yeah, so anyway, the first shirt, the DB Kame shirt, um, I like this a lot. I like the graphic on the back a lot. Next up, we have the Dragon Ball Goku Flex Airbrush T-shirt. I believe this is the mauve colorway. And like I said, I opened this one up at one point thinking I was going to throw it on and I ended up changing up the fit before I stepped out that day. Uh, so I didn't wear this, but uh, this color is, is different. I don't normally buy a lot of the like different colors. It's like I, I'm a very, I mean, I'm dressed in black and white head to toe right now, except for the shoes I got on. Uh, I mean, they are black and white, but I got on the Mocha Jordan ones right now. But um. I wear a lot of black and white, and so I've been trying to add more color to the wardrobe when I when I do buy clothes and stuff from Hype Land and stuff. So this mauve color I thought was pretty cool, and it's not listed on their website anymore. I'm looking at the, the website right now. The white one is up there, um, but this one is not, unless I just completely missed it. So again, not something that you could probably get for yourself right now if you're interested, but it's a cool shirt. Nothing on the back, just a Goku flexion on the front, but I rock with it. Next, we got the pieces that I haven't even opened up yet, and the first one here is the Dragon Ball Legacy shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Rip this out the plastic, but this one I actually got in the brown or chocolate colorway, I think they call it. Uh, like I said, just trying to buy some stuff with some colors that I normally wouldn't. But you can see here on the front, we've got uh, adult Goku and kid Goku. Again, I'm a big fan of kid Goku. I like him way more than adult Goku. The color is like nice and rich. I like it quite a lot. And uh, then on the back, you've got this really, really dope graphic of like Goku throughout the years, like in Dragon Ball. And uh, I don't know. I just think that's 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 really fire. <laughs> I just think that's, that's, that's really, really dope. Also, I've mentioned this in uh, in previous like videos where I've picked up Hyperlink clothes, but if you're ever interested in, or, or, or curious about the quality of their clothes, it's pretty solid. Um, it definitely feels like they use a decent weight of the cotton for their t-shirts and their, their hoodies and, and joggers and stuff, especially. Um, when it comes to like the print, I mean, it's a graphic t-shirt. I mean, you already know most graphic tees, they don't last forever, right? So you definitely want to wash these in cold water, inside out, hang dry, don't throw them in a the dryer. That's how you're going to get the most uh, out of them and make sure the graphics last as long as possible. But, uh, you know, with stuff like this, if you're just throwing it in the washer with whatever, or just not turn it in inside out, throwing it in the dryer, yeah, it's going to crack and peel and fade. But if you, you know, take care of your clothes when you do your laundry, it's going to last. I do have like a couple of t-shirts that have faded, but I've been buying and wearing Hyperlin stuff for some years now. Most of the stuff I have is, is still in pretty great shape. I will say, though, I don't think they use pre-shrunk cotton for their clothes. Now, I could be mistaken on that, but I, I, I say this because I had the Inuyasha Crescent hoodie. And I don't know if I if I don't know if I fucked up and I accidentally threw it in the dryer or what, but I had that in a size extra large and I shrunk it by mistake. It, it happens. I made a mistake. I don't know how how it happened, but I, I guess it happened because I went to wear it and I thought I mixed it up with my girls because my girl got the same hoodie and hers is a size medium. And when I put mine on, I was like, did I put on my girl's hoodie by mistake? And I took it off. I had a tag still set XL, but it shrunk a lot. So I don't know if that's just because they don't like they don't use pre-shrunk cotton or it's just I just fumbled that bad or whatever the case may be. But that's just something to maybe keep in mind a little bit um, that some of this stuff might shrink. 
uh, once you wash it and dry it. But that also goes back to what I was saying about just not putting no stuff in the dryer anyway and just letting it hang dry. If, if you can, if or if you're going to put it in the dryer, just use like the lowest heat setting you have possible or just like the air fluff setting or something like that. Because again, that's what's going to help you preserve the graphics on these clothes. Next, we have the Bulma airbrush t-shirt in white. And um, I believe they have a skate deck with this same graphic on it, which actually, uh, yeah, I, I actually have the skate deck with this same exact graphic on it, but I'm not going to lie. It's in my side closet that buried behind a ton of shoe boxes. I don't feel like digging it out. So I'm just going to throw a picture on the screen or whatever. Um, but yeah, here we have the Boma airbrush t-shirt in white and the print for the, for the, for her name is actually like this little puff print, which I, I think they've done before, but I haven't owned any of the pieces with the puff print. Um, but I like it. It's got a nice texture to it. It feels, feels decently printed on there. Um, but yeah, this is the airbrush t-shirt. I know it's like dummy bright white. Um, but yeah, this is actually probably my favorite Boma design ever. And I guess that doesn't really come as a surprise as somebody whose favorite part of Dragon Ball is the original, but just like the OG was like the ponytail, the ribbon, like the shoes she had on with the socks, whatever. I just thought she looked really fly. And that was like the, the Boma that I fell in love with as a kid. And so, yeah, I seen it on the t-shirt. I was like, I gotta grab that. And like I said, they have a skate deck too with this same Boma on it, but I think like the background on it is like black and stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, when I first started buying Hypeland clothes, I was definitely buying stuff in like a size large for the most part, but I've come to realize that one, I'm bigger than I gave myself credit for. Also, your boy put on a little weight. Uh, since I first started buying this stuff, but also um, I just like the fit of the of the extra large more than, than I like. I like the large. So that's just yeah, I bought an XL now. But honestly, at six foot three, I probably should have always been buying XL. Next up, we have this hoodie, which I can't even find on their website right now. So again, another piece that I guess is sold out and just never restocked. But according to the label, it is the Dragon Ball Shenron airbrush hoodie in black uh, in a size extra large. So let's go ahead and pull that out real quick. And then here on the front, you can see we have the Hypeland logo airbrushed in green with some Dragon Balls around it. It's really nice. Feels pretty good. And like I said, the uh, the cotton that they use for their hoodies is like pretty heavy. It's pretty thick. It's real comfortable. It's comparable to me to like a Supreme hoodie. Now, it's not quite as heavy as like some of the Supreme hoodies I've owned, but that's like the closest thing I can think to compare it to. Um, and then here on the back, you can see, yeah, like I said, the, the, I'm, I'm a sucker for the OG Dragon Ball stuff. And I, I'm a big fan of like back graphics. I know a lot of people aren't. But I remember speaking of Supreme hoodies, like one of my favorite jackets I had back in like high school, whatever, was when they did like the, the, the anti-hero collab. And it, anyway, I'm remembering some old shit. Yeah, I I have a bunch of uh, their hoodies that have stuff on the back, and I, I like this one quite a lot. This one in particular, I like a lot because it's not like just just square, like it's not just boxed in. Like there's you know form and shape to it. It's, it's not just you, you know what I'm saying because uh, you, you you get some pieces that are like that, but uh, this one isn't like that, and this feels like it's. Actually, oh, I didn't even realize the, the the logo on here on the back is also in like this like little puff print type thing, uh, similar to what the um, the Bulma T-shirt is. But uh, yeah, this actually feels like it's on there pretty thick, so this will be kind of hard to ruin. I'd I'd want to say uh, if you're taking care of your clothes properly and washing them the right way. But as dope as this hoodie is, I think I like the next one a lot more. Uh, not only because of the color, but because of the way the graphic on there is. And that is the Dragon Ball Shenron Eyes hoodie in the Vintage Sage colorway, again, in a size extra large. Uh, I, I love like dark green and like mint green sage force. I know mint green and dark green like aren't really the same, but like I, I like like the darker or like more muted shades of green. Um, I know that's like a really bright green on there and, and I, I rock with that because the green and the black looks pretty good. Um, but I like this even more. And uh, what's even better about this is that it's it's a uh, again, it's like a Supreme Box logo hoodie, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and it's embroidered on here and it feels very nice and it looks very good as well. Uh, it's, it's just like the, uh, the Yu Hakusho hoodies I got from them. And they have some other ones that have like Goku's eyes and stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is very nice. This is very, very nice. A really dope color, really nice embroidery on the front. I don't believe there's anything on the back, but, uh, yeah, now that I've finally opened this, this is definitely going to be getting a lot of wear out of me. Cause I think this is just a really clean hoodie. So yeah, that's it when it comes to the clothes, but there's also two more actually, I, yeah, that's so there's three I have, right? I got three of the skate decks as well. I already told you about the Bulma one, but they also have one that has Kid Goku on it, which again, that one's back in the closet and I don't feel like going and digging it out. So again, I'll throw a picture on the screen, but there's one that I can show you because it's actually hanging on my wall right here beside my desk. So if I just take it off the hook here, you can see I got the Future Trunks skate deck and I'll throw a picture like on screen so you guys can see what it looks like on my wall. It actually hangs right below like this, um, this like foam poster board I have of Kid Goku. And then next to like this zero two skate deck that I have. Uh, but yeah, I like, I didn't get the cop, like the trunks hoodie or the jacket or like the t-shirt that they dropped. Uh, Cause I think I overslept 
like when this release first came out and like uh, the trunk stuff was, i feel like was probably the first things to go and as you can see from like what i have a lot of the pieces that i do have are sold out and haven't restocked and some of them aren't even like up on the website anymore um and i think this is sold out now too but uh yeah the trunk stuff was like the first to go and i, I didn't get it but i did cop the skate deck so i was like okay for one i Y'all know I love skate decks. I got a bunch of them hanging up and I got a bunch in the closet. Um, but come, it's trunks. Like, I, it's, this, this is too ill. This is this is too ill. This might be my favorite one from them. All those uh, Yu Yu Hakusho ones back there are also from them. Um, and I, all of my skate decks aren't from Hypeland, but Hypeland does make some really nice ones. And uh, if you, I get asked this all the time, by the way, uh, do I skate? I used to growing up. I don't anymore. And now I just collect skate decks just for fun, for the aesthetic and just because they're cool. And I'm just, I'm a hoarder. Uh, but yeah, I like hanging them on my wall and stuff. So this was a must cop. Very happy with the purchase. Zero complaints whatsoever from me when it comes to their skate decks. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this was a quick little video that y'all enjoyed. Like I said, I just wanted to knock this out because this stuff has been sitting around for a minute. Not only do I want to wear it, but I did still want to get the video out one day, even if it wasn't <laughs> in a very timely manner. Oh uh, yeah, shout out to Hyperly, man. They're doing their thing. I actually haven't copped anything from them in a minute, but they're, they're constantly pumping out dope stuff and, and really dope anime collaboration. So they've been killing it for sure. Uh, but that's gonna do it for me today like i said i'm about to go ahead and get up out of here so let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and if you have any questions feel free to drop them and i'll do my best to answer them if i can uh, hit this video with a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay tuned for all those content i'm bringing you with all that being said let's finish off today and remember as it can happen to swim the bad later